Thank you so much. Greetings and peace. It's Sarita here to channel another message for you for the week. This is the week of June the 7th through June 13, Sunday through a Saturday. I hope your week was wonderful. This is 2005. We are halfway through the year. Wow, can't even believe that this is the beginning of a whole nother cycle already for us, another half of the year. So at this time, I'd like to make one announcement, and that is I'm offering group coaching now for those of you who've been asking about it. For those of you who want something more besides just a reading with me, and you want to take things a step further, I'm offering group coaching, which is energetic. We're going to be working on some very key areas. It's going to be fun. We'll also be doing journaling. We'll be working on chakras. There will be some attunements given. doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you're interested in this, this is going to be for four months. Do leave me a message in the comments or leave a message through my website, whichever one you like. And I'll get it, and then I'm going to respond to you. So, if you know how to also leave a message privately on YouTube, you could do that also if you'd like, whichever one. So, during this reading that we're doing, I'm doing a five-card reading. It's really six. One is the angel card, guidance card in the middle. The five cards on the outside, I'll start off on my left, and I'll read from that side going around. But first, I'll do the angel card for overall guidance for the week for all signs. And then you just pick which card you want. You just focus on it very intently. And when I pull that card, it'll be for you. You don't have to wonder or know if it's number one, two, three, or four, or five, because that's a part of the excitement and surprise also is that you don't know which one. So as long as you focus on that one, um, hopefully the message will be something that resonates with you. If not, choose a secondary card, you know, or the secondary card for you could be the angel card. So beyond that, let's get started. And thank y'all so much for listening to my videos. I'm really so happy and I'm looking at how much has grown. I started off when I was doing my first round of, of my videos they were only, they were just channel general readings for everyone. I didn't do them by the sign yet. At that time, I only had 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That was about hmm, maybe four, five months ago, maybe four months ago, four months ago. So as soon as I started doing them by the sign, it just grew out of nowhere and it just is that 2,000 something going on 3,000? I'm so excited. And I can't tell you how excited I am. Like, it's wow. So, I look forward to working closer with you all. And I will be sending you a message when I see your comments. Because I do appreciate it. Thanks for letting me get caught up on all those comments. They were a lot. But I was so grateful I had to go back and get them as soon as I got some rejuvenation. Beyond that, let me stop talking. Let me get into the reading with the first card. Think about the card that you want. Think about the card that you want. Pick the card that you want in your mind. Hold it there. Focus intently. Which card are you going to choose? Think about it as I do the angel card spread or angel card reading. <laughs> so, Archangel Zachael's card came up for gratitude. And with this card coming up for this week, this card is reminding everyone of something. I know specifically there is a message here for some of us who are listening to this right now. Even me. We're being reminded at this time that there is so much around us that we just can't see. There is a message there that is showing out for us. 
Some of it's in the shadows. Some of it may be covered up. Some of it may be just partially concealed and we just can't grasp it. But it's huge for us. Huge in magnitude. Maybe not so much in number. But if we add up what we've been receiving over the past year, this year, we have some magnificent things which are working for us. The message here is that we should, we could, we can delight in what has already come to us already. Sure, it may seem that that is not enough. It may seem that that is just not what we want yet. We may be waiting still for our cup to be filled with materials, with vibrance, with magic, with elements, with messages, with news, with announcements, with something which is clearly more than a clue as to what to do next, but it's something that is complete, it's done, it's finished. The angels come to tell you that there's more there than we know. There's positive energy there. We have to seek it out. And if we cannot seek that out, imagine it being there, because it is. It's been a rough time for many people. This is a green light this week to go forward. It's probably coming up also. It's saying that Mercury being retrograde is going to be done this particular week. So, it does end on the 11th. They say it is said to wait about three days afterwards because it'll be in shadow before you make your move. So maybe around the 14th. But green light. It is a green light. And what you've been putting all your time and energy into from the past, you're going to see just how much good stuff is there because a lot of the veil, a lot of the covering and, and things being just not communicated very well, it's going to be more clear. It's going to be more, more rich and you'll see it showing up. And at least we'll be able to conceive what that is even better because, like I said, it'll be just more it'll be more recognizable. That's the word that just popped up. So, I'm going to get out of the way of the message. Beyond that, it's also saying there has been recent bounty received. This card is showing that. What is it? Are you grateful for it? Are you saying thank you? You know, have you recognized what that is? No matter how small or how big it is, it is huge and significant. Remember that you are source. You're all things at all times. And you are rich now. See yourselves as you want to be seen and as you want things to be now. As you recognize your very own truth, it shall be reality. You'll see it. It'll just come into being. Because the creator of all is within us all. As gifted as you are, sometimes we all forget all that we've done. We forget how amazing that we are. We forget all of the divine help that is around us. To hear that is here to serve, protect guide us and most of all it's here to support us on our journey it doesn't matter what happened yesterday it doesn't matter what happened in the past all that matters is right now and right now you have something special there with you what is it This week is a week to open your heart. Hence the green. 
in this picture, in this card. Open your heart and be open to abundance. Be reminded this week to be grateful to yourself, to all that is, for all that you have and all that is in your world and in your life. That is the angel guidance card for this week. May this week be good to you. Now let's go and see what the other cards have in store for us. The next card that's coming up, the very first in the five for pick a card. This is number one. It is in the resolution position and it is the eight of pentacles. This card coming up here, it is upright. For me it represents work, steady work, skills, skilled working, a skilled worker, someone who has mastered their craft, someone who is getting steady ongoing gigs. The angels say that this person who is listening to this is enjoying their work. They're saying that some problem some conflict that you have been experiencing is going to be easily resolved through the message that is in this card. This card comes to remind you that you already have the tools that you need to accomplish the task. You're being reminded to be resourceful right now, this week, as you have been in the past. If you want to know how to proceed forward in resolving an issue, the month of January, there was a message that came through then, which you may want to go back and listen to. Or you may want to remember what happened around that time, as it'll be a clear message to you as to how to proceed. The confusion is settling, and now it'll be clear as to what you need to do, how to move forward in your work. Work is very important right now for some of you. There hasn't been enough or you've been overburdened or overwhelmed. If you haven't been able to find work, you will be able to move forward on some of the leads that you have found that have been good but may not have been panning out. There may have been people putting you off, not returning your calls. It will be time to go back and revisit those things as it will be time to move forward and you'll feel the forward movement this week in work. In your work. At work, if you've been looking to get a promotion and it just hasn't been panning out, then look for those things to move forward. Now you can apply a energy that is of the sun. You can shine in matters of work. Whether you're working or you're not, if you're an entrepreneur, this is a great time to expand your network. It's a great time to get with someone who knows more than you do, who can offer some advice to you. For you, that may be simply listening and reflecting on what your guides have to say to you. I hear that some of you have been listening to your guides more. And as a result, work in a great way is going to come from it. You're learning to trust yourselves more and your confidence is going to be very high this week in matters of work. So that sounds really good. The next card in the second position for pick a card is in the position of what to take from the past. And this card in this position is the Two of Wands. With the Two of Wands showing up in this position right here, it is telling me that there has been low energy for some of you. That low energy has been, as a matter of fact, because 
you're waiting for the right message, the right time, the right direction to take and you want some exacts. Some of you want downright details as to where you should go. You're not content with just jumping out there. In fact, some of you don't want to jump out there all by yourself. You want to work with a team. I'm hearing that some of you are interested in getting into larger networks and you want to grow your network. Some of you really even want to join or are looking into network marketing as an idea, as something that you can do to gain money fast. I'm hearing that that could work very well for you, but there is a, a certain energy that you've got to approach things with this week. And you'll be delighted to know that the wait is over for some of your opportunities that you've been waiting to open up to you. I'm hearing that the abundance that you've been looking for to show up, to be there, the signs, have their way of showing up at just the right amount of time. That the message for this week is going to be to take from the past your past life energy. And what is that past life energy for you? It's showing that some of you were either warriors, you were soldiers, you were someone who took action. And this week, more so than it has been maybe for the last three weeks, instead of researching, instead of taking your time, instead of walking around and looking at what to do next and thinking about it, milling it over, pondering, this is going to be more of a week that you'll be gearing up some of you to get ready to take the action that you know you want to take. I'm hearing that even if it feels that you're not quite ready, that your tools need to be sharpened, that you're out of touch, that you are out of practice, that you're going to be ready to get out there anyway. A message is saying that you are ready to go forth. There's going to be a message that comes directly to some of you. It's going to be a direct sign. When you get this sign, you'll know to step forward. This is also going to be a message that says don't wait for a sign. Instead, listen to that intuition. When I see the number two on this card, it does show intuition. It's very clear. And to receive that intuition, to think about it and ponder it before you move forward and take that action. And it'll be clear. Just ask the question and wait for the answer to come through. It'll be instantaneous. You'll feel it, and you may want to write it down. So that way, when you're in a mode again where you feel fuzzy and things are not ready or you feel disconnected from what you should do next, then you can refer back to what you wrote down, to what you already received. The angels are saying often, you get messages, we get messages, but that we forget. We forget the messages that came through, and then we want to keep waiting for the message to come back. They're also saying that, true, some of you are always taking action, and now you've had to learn a lesson to take your time. Matters of the heart have been very deep. And resolutions are going to be coming forth. Because what has happened over the last few weeks is not going to be the final resolution. They're saying that there's something more. There's something more that is going to reveal itself. To be open to listening to that this week, if it's for you. The final week also holds some messages, some keys. But we'll get into that once we get closer to that time. And now we'll go to the next reading or the next card that's in this pick a card spread, which will be card number three. Coming up as the third pick, the third card in pick a card, it is a card that is in the present position. This card showing up in the present position is the six of pentacles card reversed. 
This card coming up in this position, just like this, is a message of something. What is it saying? This week, we have a situation where you or someone has been feeling as though they've been giving too much of themselves away. There is someone coming into the picture who is lacking in money and resources. Someone who may be asking you to help them out to get over a rough spot that they're having in their life. The angels say to listen clearly before you take any action here. It is saying that if you've already given so much of yourself in the past that you're going to probably say no that you're probably going to not be open to this they're showing that there's something that you don't see that is a part of the situation and that you would do well to tell this person to get themselves together they're saying that you may feel that you're going to hurt this person's feelings by not giving them what they want but it's okay it's not always your concern to deal with what other people are lacking they're saying that you've given so much of yourself in many ways and that some people are definitely going to be taking advantage or trying to take advantage of your kindness they're saying do not let people take your kindness for a weakness that you need to save your money. Some of you have begun to save your money, but you told someone what you were doing and they've come to receive some of your some of your profits. If this has happened to you, be mindful. Be mindful that it is not your responsibility to pay other people. Unless this reading is for someone who is someone who owns a business. In terms of that, it's saying that you may feel stagnated as far as money is concerned in your business. That the inspiration that you've been having, you've been stuck on where to move forward. They're saying that, look ahead. There is a direct path to getting from where you are to getting to where you want to be. True, you may not be able to see around all of those stumbling blocks and things like that. The valleys, hills, and different currents, bodies of water you have to cross and things like that. But you're going to get there. Do not be distraught by having to take a longer way or feeling as so you have to. They're saying that the sacrifices that you have made have been tremendous. That it may take you saving your money to get the money that you want to make. But it does often take money to get money. This card in this position is showing that it does take money to get money. So you do well to save the little bit of money or the lots of money that's coming to you. They're saying that it's also time to break out and establish yourself as someone who is an expert in your field. Some of you know that this message is for you this week. This particular part of it, of being an expert and charging more for your services so you will stop having to struggle is very important here. Some of you have been just giving so much for damn near free that it's not assisting you with paying your bills. That you're two steps away from being put out. Some of you have evictions or things like that. Some of you just feel as though you are quote unquote hustling backwards. There's no need for this as you have the hands, you have the help, the assistance, the people around you and the associations to make things work. One of the reasons things have not been working also is showing is that you have been too much in a cloud by yourself in the closet off to yourself not networking closed off from the world. There is a time and a place for that and this may be the last bit of the time where you do that where you gather yourself because you've been working so hard because some of you may need rest. This is for more than one 
people, this is for a lot of people listening to this, but for different people, there's a different message in this. But for some of you, it's coming up saying that, yeah, some of you do need to fall back some. And you've been putting so much of yourself out there. But when you come back on the scene, it's time to step up to the plate and to charge more for your services. It's time to claim what's yours. That's what it's saying. And working as a team, working as a network, is going to get you further than working completely all by yourself. Also, your thoughts are things. So refocus, recenter those thoughts so that you can see more of what you want coming in to your life materially. That is a part of the key. And remembering the material world is a reflection of what we think. What are you thinking? That's what the present position card is speaking to in the third position. Let's go to the next card. The next card that we have coming up in the fourth position is about others. And this card coming up in this position is the Three of Cups card. And it's coming up in the others position, the fourth pick, if you chose the fourth card. This position speaks about others who are in your life right now. Influences, neutral influences, very strong influences that are in your life right now or could be for some of you listening to this. The messages say that are coming up here that it's going to be a week full of cooperation. People really want you to cooperate with them. They really want you to be a part of their lives. They want you to come out and serve with them. There will be gatherings, things that you have been looking forward to coming to the surface. If you've been asking about traveling, going far and wide to get out of your comfort zone, it's saying it will be time to do so. By this weekend, the energies will line up in such a way where you can get amongst the people that you love to celebrate and flourish even further. Uniting is something that you've been looking forward to doing. Perhaps you haven't been seeing people the way that they are. Some people have fallen out of your circle and you all are not going to keep in touch any longer. For those that remain, if any particular person is there that you want to be close to, that you want to get with and hang out with, it's showing that it's going to be a great time to do so. I'm showing that ideas are going to be coming up and getting exchanged and taking to the next level. Taken to the next level. Your concepts can go far right now. It's saying that there is an abundance of conversation this week and networking is going to take place. Other people are going to be reaching out to you. The question is, are you receptive to what they have to say? In matters of love, they're saying to go forth, to ride the wave of that love that you've been wanting because you've been inviting it in. Are you ready? Do you want it? It's time to celebrate because what you have thought has brought about the things that you're getting. They're saying that you've been carrying yourself more privately that you're being more discerning because of past hurts. And you'd be right to do that. People have to prove themselves worthy in some way of being constant, of showing up, being there, and being reliable. And that has to be seen. If it remains to be seen, then it certainly isn't there. Or it certainly is there for someone else, but it's not there for you. They're saying the writing is on the wall. That you know, without a shadow of a doubt, what is real and what is not. Trust your gut feelings. 
trust the way that you feel. If you want to take things to a next level, if you really want to get married to this person, then it is a good time to go ahead and start planning it. It's also a time when you can tell people to fall back, to take a break and sit back, and you will let them know when you're ready. Some people have been pestering you about your time, and they don't want you to be patient. They want you to jump right into the sack with them. The angels say, don't do it, that you would only regret just going all the way in when that's not really your intention. They're saying to honor what it is that you want. If you want to be with someone, close to someone, step out there and do it. If you do not, be mindful of cause and effect. Be mindful of the next day. They're saying that it is a time to be present, to be in the moment. But it's also a time to think about the past, present, future. Because some of you could jump out there and get pregnant instantaneously. Is this person someone that you would want to have a baby with, they're saying. If it's happened already, then of course, it'll be fine. A game plan is all that is needed. Everything is okay. And everything is happening as it should, as it's supposed to. And deep down, sometimes it is definitely happening as we want it to. We just do not know that it's happening on such a deep level, on so many different levels, so far down that we just can't see it. But whatever has come, use it as an opportunity. Use it as an opportunity to step into a new future. Your future is looking bright as far as it's concerning other people. Other people coming together with you. You all know who this is. Some of you, your associations and networks are going to be really fruitful for you financially. Creativity is going to be at an all-time high. And some of you are definitely feeling that this week. Let's go to the next card. The next card, the fifth card, the final card in Pick a Card. It is all the way on my right. The card coming up in this position is Temperance. And this card is coming up in the U position. It's coming up representing you all in the spread. But this card not only represents you and the spread, but it represents the attitudes, the energies, and thoughts that you hold or that may hinder or help you regarding this position. The angels are saying that it's time to give back. You have something of immense value there inside of you. They're saying to listen to a quote by Les Brown. Just go and find Les Brown's quotes and listen to one of them. He says something that is very prominent or very important, huge for you at this time. It's time to get motivated. It's time to get up and get motivated and to balance this life out for yourself. Emotionally, it has been a tough time. There has been crying as we see it, but crying is not always a source of sadness. It is a joyful occasion. It is a cleansing, a clearing, a letting go, and a release. That has been very much so needed. Commend yourselves on this releasing that you've been doing. For you're ready to step into something bright and bold and big. And it's scary for some of you. Fear not, the angels say. You can do it. But you're not going to be able to do everything all by yourself. That if you want to get things moving, networking is important. 
Some of you have this shyness about yourself that is not going to really, you, you're not going to want to do it. And you're not going to do it willingly or very fast due to being an introvert. It's not going to hurt you to move on from an old paradigm. Remember, it is what you believe that you are that keeps you, holds you, or moves you into the places that you go and leaves you where you are. You can make a new way. You can make a new journey. You can step forward and be bold as the beautiful being that you are. If you do not feel it's time for you to network on the outside, that they're saying you have a network of angels, guides, and ancestors there who are completely able to help you to master this type of energy, this type of action. They're saying that it's time to get motivated. Are you listening to motivational speakers? Are you giving yourself motivational talk? If not, listen to some of the greats. Listen to some of the messages out there. Pick anyone and listen to some positive messages a day for yourself. It's time to get out of the rut. You're ready to break free and to stop spinning your wheels and just bouncing back and forth. Project after project, you're ready to launch something. They're saying it is time to launch your project. Yes, you felt that burst of joy for a reason. Sure, you may have felt it and then after you finished, it disappeared and you were like, I don't know which way I should go with this. They're saying it's time. You have the answers you need. You needn't research any further. Some of you have analysis paralysis, and it's not taking you to the next level. They're saying that your fears are stopping you from going to the next level, and that you want this so very badly. They're saying to embrace it. You know what this is talking about, some of you listening to this. The change that you want in your life is waiting for you to embrace it and to open your arms and to take it. You feel so joyful about it. You know you're expansing, expansive and expanding. You know you've got the universe behind you backing your every single positive move. They're saying that even if you feel overwhelmed, you can just pour some of that extra energy that you feel overwhelmed with. You can pour it out. Do not worry about it. They're saying that what you have it serves so many people and just go forward with it. You don't need to have any more pieces. Guidance is here. The angels come with a direct message this week that it's time. This last full moon held so many different messages, and that took place on the 2nd of June. Listen to the monthly reading. There's a special message in it for you, and listen to last week's weekly reading. What is the message that you are reverberating this month, this time? What do you think is the remedy for you to take action and to get started? What is the insight coming to you? What is so clear that you'd be a fool to not listen to it? What is showing up for you? Where are you ready to move into your new journey? Are you ready to turn around and to break into the new? The world is calling you and it wants you to unite with your passion. It looks as though you're tiptoeing around it. You know it's there. You're ready for it. But you're wondering if you have all the information, if you have all the facts. For some of you, you have done this through the entire Mercury retrograde three weeks. And now you know what you must do if you desire to get to that mountain, that top of the mountain, then if you need assistance, seek out a mentor, seek out someone 
who's wiser than you? Even if you only can listen to that person through podcast or something. Lean towards positive messages at this time. Sometimes some of the messages that you're picking up and some of the depression and low energy you're feeling, it's not you. It's outside energies. It's not even yours. You don't even need to claim it. They're saying that you have been refreshed and renewed. Now you see the light. This message is coming to you for you to stop, turn around, and to go there, to go where you want to go. The possibilities are truly endless. <laughs> you can certainly do this. It's also saying, if you've been going so hard and being so active, meditation, meditation is going to help you. That is your reading for this week. All right. All six cards have been read. Thank you for listening. Please follow me on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. I'm even on LinkedIn also. Follow me all over the internet and connect with me. And I look forward to your comments. I always look forward to your comments and I've been doing a good job of keeping up with them. In fact, I have to reply to some comments today. If I don't get right to your comment, I'm getting around to it, I promise. But thank you so much for all your positive, encouraging words. Some of you have left personal messages where you want to get a reading and things like that. Please do contact me and go to my website at naturallyhighlife.com to work closer with me. And if you're interested in signing up for my group coaching course, where you're going to be like VIP, then please leave me a message in the comments and let me know that you're one of the people who are interested in more information or you're interested in doing that. And I'm going to let you know how you can get the information for that. That is the reading. That is all of my announcements right now. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Mercury retrogrades over on the 11th, too, which is huge. And we also have a just so many things coming up this week. So do have a great week. And thank you all for listening. Thank you all for subscribing, sharing and liking and leaving your feedback. Let me know how you like the videos with music or you like them without music. I'm sure you can hear my new music in the background, which is the birds. The birds outside the window, they sing all the time. So I'm, I'm kind of liking the birds in the background, but you know I love music. So I like the meditation music sound in the background. And someone did mention something about meditation. So I do have a surprise coming up pretty soon. Beyond that, I'm going to need some of you all to go to my website and sign up for my newsletter. I leave messages that I write and they're very personal and dear to my heart and they're specifically for you and different insights come up. So if you're looking for some more insights in between these card readings, please sign up for my newsletter. I don't think you'll regret it. If you do, then I understand, but you get a lot of good information. You know, this is good stuff. If you like my readings, then you'll like my newsletter too. So go there and sign up at naturallyhighlife.com. And I'm going to go now because I'm a bit chatty today. So I can go and have some fruit or something. So thank you for listening. And I'm going to talk to you all soon. And I send all of you big, huge hugs. And know that everything's going to get better if they're not feeling that they are now. And know that anything's possible for you. I want you to feel uplifted when you listen to these readings. And I want you to know that the universe is there for you. 
in all different ways, you know, with all these different readers online, you have to know that you're supported in some way. But we send you many blessings, love, and light from me, my guides, and angels. Peace and love. <laughs>